بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Hi students, we are going to complete what we started with in our uh, last lesson. So I hope that you are ready and prepared. So we are going to start with our writing lesson. So let's just pass by and see what we have in our unit, which is the world of TV. Now in our unit, we started with the writing class. We had a lot to discuss. Now the basic idea that we had was about movie genres. Now we said that there are different movie genres such as comedy, drama, we have action, a biography, we have uh, horror, for example, and a lot more. Now all of these genres, we are going to choose one of them and write about it. So you can see that we have here our objectives, some of them that we uh, covered. So we listed different film genres. We also stated the characteristics of each type. We scanned for information and words. Also, we outlined the genres mentioned in the lesson. We are now going to complete the same lesson, which is the writing lesson, by composing ideas to write about a film genre, clarifying its formula, and we are going to write an expository essay about a film genre. So let's start. Now, just to revise what we had, uh, which uh, is, of course, the title, Main Genres of TV Films, pages uh, 56 and 57. We had the question, are there categories of TV films that you are not interested or you dislike, which or why? We also discussed what is the definition of genres. We passed by the definition. And also we had the question, how easy is it to classify TV films? So also we have here, the question, are there distinct and permanent categories? Why or why not? Now, these are the questions that we did discuss before, but just to refresh your memories and prepare for what we are going to write today, inshallah, in our lesson. So we have here, yes. Now we have the question, what are the distinguishing characteristics of different genres? Underline highlight words, phrases, or sentences. And this is the main part that we did in our last lesson when we listened and we read about these different genres and what are the categories that we have. We also listed some of the characteristics of each kind. So if you remember that we had the table here, we had different types or genres as we can say, and something that just shows the kind or the elements of this genre here. Now also you can see that we have here other genres, covering also here, leading to the complete table that we discussed, talking about all the different types or genres that we listened to in the last lesson. Now, this is our revision. We are going to move on with your turn. We are going to write our essay now. So we're going to start with something very simple here. Now, number one, to think of a TV film genre that uses a formula. For example, action, adventure, comedy, western. Choose a particular TV film in this genre as an example. So this is something very simple. You are just first going to think of your favorite movie and you are going to just classify the genre of this movie. This is going to be the first step. After that, we have here, if you are still struggling with the idea of a movie formula, so here the word formula now, before I mentioned it, uh, mentioned the, uh, the word and said that we are going to discuss it more. Now, if you are struggling with the idea of what is a formula or what is a movie formula, you can completely uh, just compare it to the ingredients of any kind of dish that you want. So just read with me, please. We have here, think how fresh ingredients with talented cooking turn into something good. Now, as you can see that we have here different ingredients, this is the same idea when we say that there is a movie formula, there are different ingredients in the movie that makes it so good. Now, we decided which genre that we are going to talk about or what is the movie specifically. Number two, we are going to think about the different parts of the formula. Use a diagram to make notes. 
So to make it easier for you, you can just use a diagram. We are going to see it. And we have here number three to write an expository essay in which you reveal and explain the formula behind the film. Now, this is the table or the chart that can you, you can use when you just write out the main parts of your formula or as we can say, the ingredients of the movie here. Now you are going to use it. And just to remind you that we took three different types of essays before in unit one, unit two, and unit three. We discussed how to write an explanatory we also discussed how to write a descriptive, and we have here also describing essay. And now we are going to start with a different type of essay here, which is going to be an explanatory essay. So we are going to start with our essay here. Now you can see that on page number 57 in your book, there is actually a paragraph that is just an example for how you are going to write your essay. So let's read it together here. A coming of age film. The Lion King is a coming of age film. Coming of age films focus on a young person's journey to adulthood, often both emotionally and physically. In these kinds of films, there is usually a role model who helps teach the main character, and there is usually a test that the character must undergo. The Lion King is a good example of this kind of film because and completing so you can see that the example in the book it's not a complete example we are going to work together to give you a complete essay and know how to write the details in your chart so let's start together now first of all I chose an example in my uh, mind now I know what is my movie I know what is the genre of the movie so we are going to start by writing something very simple, which is the title. Now, when you just start your essay, the most simple thing is to write the title here, which is going to be Blessings Are Born. Now, this is the title of the movie that I'm going to talk about. Now we have here, this is my chart. I'm going to show you the main elements of my formula here or the parts that I chose to talk about. So when I think about my movie, this is just an example here to show you what are the basic parts of the formula. We're going to see. Now, first of all, emotional effect. My movie has an emotional effect. Also, there is something about family. We have here bonds, feuds, and losses, health, social, and financial challenges, dramedy. Now, if you can just focus here, we have here dramedy is actually two types of, or two genres actually. Uh, we have here drama and comedy all together. And we have the last part is going to be serious, real, inspiring, new attitude. So these are the parts that I put in mind that I am going to talk about or actually write about in my essay. So I have to make sure while I'm writing my essay that I just apply all of these parts that I chose in the essay. Of course, we are going to see how and how to organize. Now, we are going to start with our writing corner. When you write an expository essay, choose a specific area of a topic to focus on. So this is what we actually did. I chose, I gave a title, I, I just wrote the different uh, parts of my formula. Then after that, think about your audience or readers. Research and collect information from different sources. So when I write, an essay for someone to read, I have to make it interesting and I have to make it clear what my point is and why did I choose this movie. Of course, any type of movie that you are going to research and note that I explained before, you are not writing the story of the movie, you are writing the formula of it. So you are going to collect, you are going to research, you are going to just see what are the basic parts and the ideas that you have in the movie. 
Think of examples and comments made by others. Now, when there are movies, especially famous movies, you can find lots of comments that may help you to write your essay. You can use quotes, exchanges, and arguments from your sources. So these are basic research elements that you can add to your uh, essay here. If necessary, you can present the information in three main sections. So focus on the sections of the essay. First, an introduction and thesis statement. So we know that a thesis statement is going to be the main idea that we have here. It is the introduction of what you are going to write about. So there is a complete introduction, a complete paragraph, and within the introduction, there is a thesis statement. B, a longer paragraph or a number of paragraphs presenting the information about different aspects or character categories of the main topic. So as we did before, there is going to be one main long paragraph, or if you wish to divide into different paragraphs as we have here to present the information that you are going to present or write about. The last point, which is C, you can see that we have here a closing paragraph. So if you recall what we did in our previous essays, it is necessary to have an introduction and then there is going to be a closure or a closing paragraph and of course your ideas in the middle. You are free to use different types of text, arguments, and material, including visuals. So you can make your essay interesting and you can add all the details that you need. Now here you can see that I have my complete essay. We have your blessings are born. Now you can see that I have my main, or sorry, the introduction, the first paragraph. And then I have my main paragraph, which is in the middle. I chose to write one complete. And then we have here the last, which is the closure. Now, actually, I divided the main paragraph here into two basic ideas. So you can either combine them together into one, or you can divide them into two paragraphs. So let's see what we have here. Now you can see that, first of all, I have the first part, and then I have the second. I also added a third paragraph here, or I added, or divided actually the main paragraph into two parts. And then I have my closing, as you can see. Now here, you can see very clear that I had divided the essay, and we are going to discuss each part individually. So we're going to start. First of all, I'm going to go back to my chart. Now I'm going to make sure that I wrote about each part that I have here prepared in the chart. Now, you can see, without doubt, movies are one of the best entertainment choices. It is fascinating how they can transfer you to another world. You can live in the past or in the future. You can either be a warrior or a detective confronting villains. Movies arouse curiosity, excitement, fear, and a lot more emotions. Now let's just focus on simple details here. You can see that I have the sentence which is in the green color. This is going to be the thesis statement that I have in the first part. The second thing that you can notice that I didn't write about something in specific. I have a general idea, I wrote about it, and I just presented the idea about movies. Another point is it is good to practice what you already studied. So you can see here that I used either or, which is a grammar point that we learned throughout the units. Now you can apply the vocabulary, the uh, uh, grammar structures, and anything that you have learned within the semester. So you can just practice and apply at the same time and enjoy what you are writing about. When I finished here, I'm going to add the second part. Now this is going to be the main part here. Now note, first of all, that I started with a personal effect. So we have here, however, I personally prefer so here I'm going to start to show my point of view and add the personal touch into my essay by starting with me, I personally prefer. I personally prefer the genre of drama 
and in particular, true base stories captivate me. Now here you can see that I transferred from the main idea into a specific type of movie or a genre, which is drama. And also you can see that I have the word captivate, which is one of the words that I studied throughout the unit. I love to know about real experiences and how people overcome certain periods in their lives. I admire people who really exist and find their stories inspiring. Now, there are specific words that are going to present why, why did I choose this type of movie? So you can see that I gave my reason that I find that these types of movies or genres are inspiring to me. It is very important to show what is your reason. Moving on. Now you can see in the gray color here that this is going to be the second part of the main paragraph. We have here, my favorite movie is called Blessings Are Born. Now still you can see that there is the personal touch and I am talking about something that I am interested in personally. So first of all, in the first part, I wrote generally what is the, uh, the genre that I like or prefer. And now I am specifically writing what is the movie. Now we have here, Blessings Are Born, and I'm going to show what is the movie about. So here, while you are reading with me, you can see that I am not writing the story of the movie. I'm just writing what is it about. So we have here, which is a combination of family bond, feuds, and losses. It is also a kind of dramedy. So we have your subgenre, which is actually a combination of drama and comedy together. It revolves around how a family lives and reacts to health, social, and financial challenges. So here, all the parts that I wrote in the green color, they are the main words that present my ideas and present what am I talking about. And you can see that they are the same words that I used in my chart. Moving on to the last part, which is the closing paragraph or the closure. Now you can see that we have here the serious yet real tone of life in drama is appealing and yet to the end of the movie i find myself with a new attitude towards life also you can see that i uh, wrote each word that i have in my chart and note something very important while you are writing it is very important to use different types of connectors punctuation to make your essay interesting so this is my complete essay that i have here now, we're going to come to the checklist that we have. I'm going to make sure that I applied everything. So I have, first of all, the title. Did I write the title? And how about the indentation at the very beginning of my essay? The ideas. Did I write my introduction? Did I have the first part of the main? And also the second part of the main? And I had my fourth part, which is going to be the conclusion. So just to make sure you can just benefit from this type of table, which is a rubric to make sure that you are on track and you are doing everything correctly. After that, we have here, you are going to make sure of your spelling. You are going to make sure of this structure. You are going to make sure that your handwriting is red and very clear. And if you want to present something typed, it's up to you. We have after that to make sure of your punctuation. And as I said, that using different types of punctuations in the your writing makes it more interesting. The last thing is to make sure of the capital letters that you have correctly. And don't forget, of course, when you mention your movie, you have to write it in capital. Now, when you write and complete your essay here, you can simply present it to anyone just to take their opinion and to just check with you what are the different parts that we have. Now, this is the complete checklist for evaluation. We come to the end of our lesson. Our outline of the day is to discuss film genres. We also, in our previous lesson, read and listened to the basic text that we have in the lesson. We enumerated types. 
We highlighted the characteristics and we organized now writing steps that are going to be very useful for you when you start your writing your essay. So I am um, very sure that you are going to present excellent essays and you are going to think about, of it, uh, about the uh, idea of film genres with a uh, creative matter. You're going to start writing and good luck.